I'm Elizabeth Larkin with Balanced Body Pilates. Many of my clients need to save their wrists. Some clients have osteoporosis. Other people spend a lot of time with their PDAs, their cell phones, their computers, and so they're experiencing some repetitive stress injury. And so they ask me for abdominals and arm exercises that they can do avoiding putting uh, compressive forces on their wrists. So here's some suggestions of some moves that you can practice for yourself and for your clients. We'll start with the box being supported by the foot bar and a light spring on the carriage. Perhaps a yellow spring would be a good place to start here. As you exhale, slide the carriage back, turning your arms, palms down, so forearms go into pronation. And as you inhale, lead uh, forward and up with your tailbone, your coccyx. Exhale to slide the carriage back, moving at the hip joints. Inhale to come forward. For those clients with osteoporosis who need to avoid compressive forces in flexion, this would be an excellent way to help to focus them on their abdominal strength. Now, as the client progresses, remove a spring, so eventually you have no springs at all. In addition to the sagittal orientation that I showed, you can have the oblique orientation. The client is going to um, hold on over the edge of the box. That will um, help them initially, but eventually it would, be, it would be best to have the palms towards each other. Mm -hmm. Exhale to slide back. Inhale to come forward. Or without rotation, exhale to slide back inhale to come forward, etc. with the other side. Now, what we just finished was a series of quadruped or all fours core control with the focus on hip extension. Now we're going to change to the focus being on hip flexion. So put the box at the other end of the frame. The closer the box is to the tower, the more difficulty the exercise. The more difficult the exercise, the more challenge. Bring the headrest up and climb on, bringing your thighs up against the shoulder rest. Now your forearms are on the box and in a neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Exhalation would facilitate spine flexion. And the purpose of this particular exercise is to maintain the neutral spine and to facilitate the, um, the congruence of the femur into the hip joint, into the hip socket. Inhale to come forward, exhale to come back. Keeping the pelvis steady where it is, keeping the light from the navel shining directly down towards the floor. The idea here would be to bring this knee in the direction of the opposite elbow. And then change to the new side. Don't shift laterally. You'll accentuate the core work if you keep the light from the navel directly down towards the carriage. Now, both feet go to one side, keeping the thighs up against the shoulder rest, and both hands to the opposite corner of the box. Exhalation will make it easier to bring your shoulders down away from your neck with scapular depression. Inhalation will make it easier to keep your thoracic spine um, curved, and easier to keep the pelvis in a neutral position. Put the knee down minimizing the lateral translation of your spine, of your pelvis, doing only what's necessary to move to the side. Finally, the far, the opposite diagonal, both feet change, both hands change, keeping the light from your sternum directly at the box between your forearms. Bringing the front of your abdominals to the front of your spine, bringing the back of your abdominals to the back of your spine. You can see that all of these exercises enable your client to keep their wrists in neutral while attaching their arms effectively to their torso. Thank you. Bye-bye.